Hi. My name is Cliff Hanks. Won't you join me on this journey? This is a piece I did in um, the mission. Uh, on 16th of Mission, I, I dressed up as Jesus Christ for a day. And uh, honestly, I wanted to go up and see what would Jesus do if he were alive on earth. So uh, we did a video of it. Um, uh, I approached as many people as I could, but I didn't get very far because they all thought I was insane. <laughs> Here's another picture of me. I, I swear it was as if I was wearing a bomb or something. People were just so crazy about this. Um, this is um, a piece I did as part of a, I'm, I'm part of this collective called Right Window. We're in the right window of ATA. And I, I did a drawing, a live drawing. I uh, etch creamed all the windows and then slowly began to reduce them uh, minute by minute until it was reduced down to nothing, zero, and completely disappeared. Uh, this is a piece I did where I dressed up as uh, Elvis and I sang my way to Tony Labatt. It, looks, it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is a piece I did where uh, I emptied an entire can of Axe spray on me and then pressed myself up against the wall of a gallery because I wanted to leave like a ghost-like reminder of uh, my presence there. And uh, it worked. This was a piece I did with Machine Project uh, as part of a uh, landmark in uh, LA tour where I focused in on Wilshire Boulevard and uh, the, it was a double-decker bus and it started at uh, the Hilton and went all the way down to uh, MacArthur Park. And uh, I was a regular tour guide that got possessed by the ghost of Whitney Houston. <laughs> and this is uh, the end of the tour. It was very nice. Well, MacArthur Park is a trip. If you've ever been there, you should check it out. Uh, this was me, part of this uh, performance I did with uh, Wayne Smith and Scott Hewicker, where we, um, we called upon the forces of darkness to destroy the museum um, by doing this ritualistic drum piece. And here it is again, um, the last day of the museum before it got torn down and um, remade into what it is now. Um, I'm sorry we didn't destroy the museum. Uh, this is a piece where I am, uh, I, uh, I, I tried to get into the whole entertainment part of uh, performance. So I wanted to create, make myself into a silhouette and uh, I uh, tried to walk as quietly as I could with tap shoes and I drew a hole in the wall and tried to disappear into it and uh, it didn't really work too well. But I mean, I think I, I like about performance is that it, it's about trying and it's about really um, getting to that point where you believe that it could happen. Um, this is a piece I did for uh, Southern Exposure where I, um, uh, to this really amazing 12-minute uh, uh, house uh, piece by Etienne de Cressy, it's called Pre Choc, and I did a, uh, a live painting. And this is the live painting. And this is me after the live painting. Uh, this is a piece I, I did in Clarion Alley. It's a mural. Um, I designed it strictly as a one-day free-for-all, freestanding kind of uh, drawing where if someone tagged it, I would be able to go in the next day and uh, repair it and use the damage that they did as part of the drawing. It's It's gone through several uh, reneurations and... Uh, uh, it, but it's, it's, it was strictly made to be like a back piece so that people could take pictures behind it. And uh, it's crazy. Every time I go in there, there's somebody going, or, <laughs> or. So it, I guess it did its job. Um, it's still up. Uh, so this was part of the series that I did in, um, in Right Window, where I transformed the gallery for a month into a sign shop. And uh, this was the first day of it. Every day I would go in, make a sign, and put it up in the window. And it, it all reflected how I thought San Francisco was dying, and I didn't like what was happening to it. I still don't. Uh, and uh, so uh, I would come up with these little phrases that I could hit the public with on uh, walking past, uh, and they would look at it and see like a saying or a slogan. And so this was the first one, San Francisco. Um, this is the second one. I did it every day for a month, and then at the end of the uh, piece, uh, I allowed everybody to come in and take a sign, and then it turned into this beautiful, strange, uh, like, protest uh, of my signs, and uh, that was really great. Uh, this is a piece I did for uh, MAC Clothing, where they asked me to um, 
you know, uh, decorate the interior of a shop, and uh, it's actually something I've always wanted to do. Uh, so I uh, did it with a lot of slogans that were familiar with um, gay culture. Um, aliens are real, I don't know if that is, but like, hold up, wait a minute, join our club. Uh, a lot, I used a lot of just slogans and uh, stuff that I could put on signs and group them all together, and they also made handbags out of them. Uh, and it's, there's nothing as satisfying as seeing a woman walking down the street that, with a, a bag that says, girl, I'm full. <laughs> I really love that. Uh, this is a piece I did in uh, upstate New York in this town of Hamilton. I hung out in Hamilton for uh, a week and I went to all the shops. Uh, I, got, I tried to uh, immerse myself in the culture there in this very small college town and picked up on everything people were talking to me about and I tried to get into as many conversations with people as I possibly could. And then I made signs of all the things that I heard all week. And, uh, and then I went to these various places and asked if I can put the signs up in the windows. And uh, this is some of the signs. One minute. Okay. And this is my last piece. Uh, I just got back from LA and I did this uh, piece as a lounge singer, Bobby Coupon. He's a um, motivational self-help speaker, and, uh, but he's also a lounge singer. And uh, thanks to Machine Project, we're able to take this off the ground and hopefully I'll be able to do this in November. Thank you very much.